Howdy folks, we have talked already about the Sharpville Massacre, and we've talked about possible responses by the ANC and other resistance groups. Today we're going to talk about the actual ANC response to Sharpville. So at the end of the screencast, you should be able to, ex you should be able to say, I can explain why the Sharpville Massacre was a turning point in the fight for equality in South Africa. If you can say that, great. If not, head back and watch rewatch parts of the screencast. And as always, take notes in any way that you see fit. So, this is the flag of the ANC. And as you'll notice right here, there's a spear in that flag. And you might say, I thought the ANC was a nonviolent organization. And for the first 40 or so years of their existence, they were. However, after Sharpville, the ANC saw nonviolent protest as essentially ineffective particularly in the face of increasing white violence. And Sharpville changed the ANC's tactics from nonviolent resistance to da, 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 da. And here we have Umkonto We Sizwe or the MK. And the MK is a Zulu word for excuse me, Umkonto We Sizwe is the Zulu word for Spear of the Nation. This is the armed wing of the African National Congress. And the first attack occurred in December of nineteen sixty one and this the MK focused exclusively on sabotage, and it was mainly bombings early on in its existence, so it was hitting kind of softer targets in South Africa and trying to avoid casualties, if at all possible. During the same time period, Nelson Mandela is banned, but is undercover and evading police and becomes wildly popular as police continue to struggle to find him. However, thanks to, in part, the American CIA, he is found and arrested in August of 1962 and put on trial with the rest of the ANC leadership that hadn't gone into exile in Zambia or Namibia or Botswana. Um, and the rest of the leadership is captured in 1963, and they are charged with sabotage and planning a foreign invasion of South Africa. And on the stand, the ANC leadership admits to the first crime of sabotage, but they refuse to say that they are planning a foreign invasion of South Africa. On the stand, Nelson Mandela says some very memorable things, but in particular he says that we, believe that we believe that as a result of South African policy, violence by the African people had become inevitable. We felt that without violence there would be no way to open, there would be no way open to African people to succeed in their struggle against the principle of white domination. I have cherished the ideal of a democratic and free society in which all persons live together in harmony and with equal opportunities. It is an ideal which I hope to live for and to achieve. But if needs be, it is an ideal for which I am prepared to die. The ANC leadership is found guilty in 1964 and sentenced to life in prison. And because of this, the ANC and Umkonto Wesizwe, the MK, the armed wing of the ANC, their leadership is shattered and for a time period their influence goes way, way, way down. So hopefully you can explain why the Sharpville Massacre was a turning point in the fight for equality in South Africa give you a hint violence or authorization of violence by the ANC um if you're not sure what that meant you should go back and rewatch the screencast otherwise thank you for watching